Hi guys, are you ready? This is it. I'm going to try to create a channel on IGTV from my desktop. So first of all, you have to go to Instagram.com and log in to your Instagram account. And then you click on the button here. You have posts and then you have IGTV. So there we go. Get sharing. So get started. Create your channel. It's a new space for creative audience. Longer videos. I'm into it. Share longer videos. Oh my God, that looks like my son, but it's not him. Thank God he's not... They're built for vertical. Yes, create channel. All right, upload a video. Now, I've already shot this video. Um, it, so it must be vertical. So you almost have to shoot it with your phone between 15 seconds and 10 minutes, MP4, which is what it comes with when you shoot with your phone, and less than 3.6 gigabyte. Well, I hope it's less than 3.6, cause that's a lot. So, oh, where is it? Phew, here. Oh, that's a movie. Wow, I don't know if that's going to work. Hmm. Well, that's funny because it says .mov, not .mp4, and it still works. So now the cover image, so see this cover image here? You can click Edit. And um, I've done an image here that's kind of silly but I wanted to write some text so what I've done is that I've taken a photo I've put the photo into Instagram stories and then I've added text with Insta on, on Instagram stories and I right away saved it I didn't publish it to my Instagram story I just saved it right to my photos Ooh, that was fast say that again I took a photo when I was recording the video just before I took a photo I went to my Instagram account I've put the photo on Instagram stories. I've added some text on Instagram stories. I click saved as opposed to publish to the story. Then I closed the story so I didn't actually publish that story but that image with all the Instagram font was saved to my camera roll and that's why I'm able to put it up here. Um, What's going to be the title? I'll put episode number one. What it's all about. Laying the ground for future episodes to come. Social media life whistler. I put XC for cross country. Love. Okay, now it says make it vis visible on Facebook. And Heather kept saying, like, remember to unclick Facebook. So, ooh, I have to connect the page. So I could connect the page, but I, I would have to connect my page, not one of my clients, because that would be crap. So I'll connect my page, connect page. So now I have this. I've, connect I've connected to my Facebook business page, and I'm going to post this. Ready? I don't know why I'm super stressed. Oh my gosh. There you go. HGTV, Catherine aired episode one. It's preparing the video, but my, I don't know, it's looking good, people. This is so silly, because we're gonna be looking back at this thinking, oh my God, look at all these nerds tripping out, but 
maybe this is gonna be big guys maybe it's like if you were the person who opened uh, who had like the first youtube video or the first youtube channel who knows so i don't know i think it's fun for businesses too and while this is all preparing i want to say a lot of people are asking like why bother with another thing there's already so much stuff going on with social media and i think that one of the reason is that there's a lot of people on Instagram, a lot, and it's growing exponentially. And eventually what happens is that you want to be where your audience is. You want to be where your target market is. So if you're a business and you're selling your services, like as a real estate agent, for example, or you're selling goods, um, no matter what, you want to put some effort on the channels that your public is using. And Instagram is there, so put time into it. Episode one, what it's all about. A kiss to welcome you to my IGTV channel, and this is it. Yay! So please go on Catherine Aird on Instagram, check out IGTV, and I want to see what your channel look like. And you can go and keep it simple social media. Heather is already posting wicked tips, so go for it. That's it for now. Love you.